Hi everyone, this is Palvinda. Welcome again in the next day of your challenge, guys. Um, in this phase, uh, as I mentioned, you you need to be know about how you can um, uh, run your ads, how you can measure the result, the four kind of report that will be help you to measure the report. Now, um, this is the last lesson of this phase where you need to be know how you can optimize your campaign, whether your ad sets as how you can optimize. I will give you the 10 powerful tips, tricks that how you can optimize using that one definitely will help you to optimize your ads and the way how you can do that is um, you can watch onto the screen guys here. I'm going to give you the 10 ways. The first way is use the campaign optimization. Guys, remember in the first day when we set up our campaign, we have a one option how we can optimize the campaign budget. If you do not remember, I'm going to show you here. If you will be create that ads, uh, sorry, create the campaign. In the campaign, you will be select the traffic, right? And now, if I'm just going to simply continue with it, then you will be now in the next step um how you can optimize your campaign here so uh, you need to be do this part of it guys this option campaign optimization option you need to be select that one if you do not select it will be very hard for you to achieve your goal try to turn it on since facebook will split your budget into the ad set as i mentioned you in the first video when we set up our campaign the second tips guys clear with your goal make sure that guys whatever the business you have whatever you would like to be achieved be clear with your goal for example as i mentioned the three pillar of the marketing uh, about the awareness consideration and conversion from them if you want just traffic you should go for the traffic if you want pay likes comments share go for the engagement if you want conversion go for the conversion if you want lead go for the lead if you want to be pro provide aware of if you want to be spread the awareness go for the awareness make sure that guys keep in the mind whatever the goal you would like to be achieve select that objective facebook will definitely help you out to achieving your goal so make sure that be clear with your goal do not get be confused remember one thing confused mind always says no and you will not be get the result so be clear with your goal think what you want and select the campaign objective it is very easy simply just try if you think if you're afraid to run the campaigns no guys don't afraid run it uh you will be definitely get the result and follow the all instruction as i mentioned you through this challenge rely on the facebook auto optimization in the ad set level somewhere you will have chance to select manually option do not go for the manually even in, i mentioned in the ad set level as well on the placement option select the facebook automatic option facebook will optimize it for you all thing and there will be um uh, it will be show your ads to your dream audience right further if you will be go for the bidding strategy in the ad set level as i mentioned you keep it simple optimization which facebook will recommend to you go for the recommendation option facebook will definitely help you to achieve your goal right so based on that relay on the facebook auto optimization method would be help you out now fourth step is create different ad sets based on your target audience guys as i mentioned you this digital marketing is all about the art of science means you need to be play around it if you do not get result do not be get confused or do not be get in positive that you cannot run it you can run it guys um it is an art of science try another audience right change the audience until you achieve your goal that you're looking for I'm right so make sure that guys um your ad set the the first audience you selected called audience if it did not work about the ctr option change it why so will be definitely help you out now in the fifth one is use different ad format what does it mean guys for every ad set in a one campaign we have ad set in a one ad set we have ads try to use more than three to four ads for example if you run a one ad for the one ad set if you have one ad set one product if you're running 
one ad no guys try to use another ad image ad video ads crossover ad as i mentioned in the ad format lesson right try to use another ad format with the for the same product so that your the audience which you're targeting there will be no okay that kind of ads they are looking and they will be click on it okay so make sure that you should have more than three different ads for one product so every ad set have there um, more than one ad format so image ad for the same product videos for the same product cross all ads something like that in the sixth one change ads guys this is also one of the important thing you need to be understand about the human psychology what does it mean guys if you keep running a one ad for a long time people will not be click on it try to use change the ads if your ads it's not working as i mentioned you if your ads do not get the good ctr do not get the clicks change it use it another way will definitely help you out as i mentioned in the who not how get the people who do it for you find out the people who will make an ads great ads for you tell them simply what are you looking for that will be created for you right try to use different ads that would be really worth for you guys believe me very worth for you so try that so that the human psychology will understand and they will accept it what you're looking for and they will be accepted that they are looking for and you are the guy who is providing and a solution for their problem right so change the ads will definitely you get a good ctr then after that research on competitions guys um here is our marketing strategy i would like to be share with you do not try to reinvent the wheel the wheel is already there you just need to be used guys do the reverse engineering method use the reverse engineer better method what does it mean guys you definitely have a competition go over there in a few minutes i will be show you how you can find out this is the huge good things from the facebook how you can find out your competitions competitor ad what kind of ads they are performing right so guys make sure that you use the research your uh, competition in the below video here in the same way below video i will be give you a video how you can uh, how you can find out your competitors and what kind of ads they are running for it's very simple facebook have the options where you can easily see your competitor ads for sort of ads they are running and you can easily get an action get an idea how they are running the ads so this is the most important thing do not try to reinvent the wheel right they wheel is already there get using the reverse engineer method the people already worked on the strategy strip tricks you just need to use them and just reverse engineer put your own product and all everything will be good to go based on your product it's not an a copyright issue but based on your product you are going to change everything but you are going to get an idea what they are um how they what kind of ads they are, are working on and running on it make sense so guys this is the important thing in the below video i will be show you the facebook have a great option where you can easily see your competitors at what sort of ads they are running on right will be really helpful for you to understand about it so set up the remarketing pixels this is one of the most important part of your whole campaign and in the next phase this is all about our pixels uh, standard events custom events conversions everything we have a next phase where you will be learn this all things now run set up a remarketing pixels guys once you set up a remarketing pixels on your website you can easily create a custom audience and you can target those audience with the specific ads in the next phase we will be talk about it but make sure that keep in mind you need to be install the facebook pixels very simple i will be show you how you can do by yourself you do not need to be find out any another people for it so you can do it by yourself use the look like audience as remember in the second phase i mentioned you how you can find your dream audience and about the understanding about the look like audience this is the look like audience where we will be create a look like audience and we will be show them 
your ads, right? So you will be find out based on your custom audience. The other people who really interest in your product will be definitely help you out and you will be getting a lots of good results from them. So use a look like audience. Keep this in mind. We will be using it in the next phase. Last tips guys, last ways to optimize your ad. Use breakdown option and target audience based on the location now this is important thing since your ad is working i'm going to close this one guys for example this is an option since my ad is working for example i'm going to just delete the part because i do not need any campaign so i'm just going to delete it guys we facebook have each and every data where that if you're getting some clicks on your ad facebook will let you know from where you get it from which region if there's a male what's their age what's their demographic what they're leaving what they are doing everything facebook have and i will be show you through this breakdown option you will be see this breakdown option guys with the column which we use to create our reports you will be see this breakdown option for example guys I will be select this campaign right now. Facebook will give me the all information about this my not this campaign because this is a remarketing campaign. Um, this campaign I'm going to show you about. You can use the remarketing campaign. You can get the data, but I'm going to find it, optimize my ads, right? So break down it. By the time you can do that delivery and the actions. Now for the delivery method, you will be know what sort of age the people is clicking the ads, right? Then what who they are if they are a gender or what sort of genders they are right so you can see it here in this campaign i'm getting the results i'm getting the clicks i'm just going to click it just going to go for this week um should be easy for you to find out uh, so that i should have some um uh, results here so i'll be help you out to sort it out so the problem is going on here i'm going to click my ctr now the roi report so in the ctr you will be now now this is a fine thing guys here in the nz isc campaign i'm getting the clicks from that age right so 18 to 24 5 25 to this to 5 35 to this so you will be getting a easily analyzing that who is your dream audience and you can analyze it what's their age so i'm getting the clicks right so if this is here i'm just going to add more clicks here so customize it so as i mentioned you can play around it it's very good for you so clicks all i'm going to add it here so apply it right so here you will be now that now 23 clicks what age group i have 25 to 35 and that's the age group who are really interested in my product so in the next ad set i will be create a new ad set where i will be i will be at my budget particular to 25 to 34 year age i will be target those and i'm going to get more results from there because i can see there are people who are in this age group are more likely to be interested in my product so same here guys from where they are from for example gender if you are uh, if you have a male if you have female product male product you can find it find like finalize it here so you will be see here 22 clicks I'm getting from male category so 18 from the female it's worth for me even 18 females are uh, clicking on that one right for further you can find it out right the country or the region country since it's in the new zealand so we can go for the region now i will be see it here from where i'm getting a lots of clicks for this campaign i'm talking about right i'm getting a one click from the auckland since i exclude the auckland in my i don't want to be show that one to the auckland so here in a bay of penalty i'm getting this clicks right so four clicks six clicks i'm getting from this 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 so that's how i'm getting the clicks so i'm getting so far a good clicks from the eight clicks from the wellington region so means that i have my dream audience in the wellington I'm right so that what i can find it and in the next ad set i need to be create one more ad set where i will be show my ads to wellington region that region who are effectively work for me and i will be select the age group and that's how i can use this breakdown option and i'm getting the results so i hope that will be help you out guys so you can play around it you have a lots of option placement option where 
where facebook showing your ads um if you click on it here you will be see it i will be showing it to you here so if you click on this placement option you will be see it here so facebook have uh, facebook showing my ads on audience network and they spend that much money i got five clicks so 17 clicks i'm getting from facebook news feed from mobile app 17 clicks i'm getting from mobile as and i'm paying for this much money for it right so as i'm 13 clicks i'm getting from where the video feed because might be we have some video ads here um as i mentioned you can need to be you can add an ad format video ad format that will be really helpful for you so i hope that will be help you out guys thank you so much for watching this optimize it uh optimize your campaign with this 10 step do not use the all step it's either way you can but use one by one Take your time, use it, think it, and get the results. See what kind of results um, you are getting and act based on that. I hope that will be help you out in the below video. I will be show you how you can use the Facebook option that page transparency where you can easily find out your competitors ad, what sort of ads they are working on it and running so that you can get an idea. Thank you so much, guys. See you in the below video. We'll be helping you out. Thank you so much.